Okay, so COPD stands for Chronic Obstructive Pulmonary Disease. It's something that you're going to see very often in your career, and it's, some, it's a very interesting condition, and we're going to talk about it, and we're going to tell you some things that isn't really taught to you in nursing school and isn't taught to you as a nurse, and unfortunately, because of this, we fail as nurses to provide the best care that our patients need, and we actually put our patients in, in very um, unsafe positions because we don't fully understand COPD. So what COPD is, is an obstruction of airflow oftentimes due to emphysema and chronic bronchitis, okay? So what happens is we have this obstruction of airflow um, and the uh, most common causes of that are emphysema and chronic bronchitis. So what is emphysema? Emphysema is a destruction of the alveoli due to chronic inflammation and it uh, decreases surface area for gas exchange. A common cause of this is smoking, okay? So our alveoli become just destructed or ruined and of course gas exchange occurs in the alveoli so if our alveoli are ruined we're unable to to have that gas exchange okay and then chronic bronchitis is chronic airway inflammation with a productive cough and excessive sputum production so if first of all we have these destroyed alveoli so we're not exchanging gas appropriately and then we also have this excessive uh, sputum production and airway inflammation, and so it becomes very difficult for these patients to breathe. Okay, so let's look at this picture really quick. Really quickly, so this would be normal alveoli. Here's our bronchial leading into our alveoli, and you can see in a normal al alveoli, we have plenty of space for the air to exchange. What happens in emphysema is these alveoli become destructed, and airway ex or uh, gas exchange does not happen as it should in a healthy individual. So the patient is not able to swap CO2 for O2 and obviously they're going to because of this they're going to have higher levels of CO2 okay so what would happen in here normally is we 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 have all this CO2 from our blood right and so the CO2 is going to pass through here and what's going to happen is we're going to push O2 into our bloodstream and we're going to take the CO2 out and of course the CO2 is going to go out um, as we expire. But what happens with emphysema is because they have these destroyed alveoli, the gas exchange isn't happening as it should. And so CO2 is re remaining in the bloodstream, uh, whereas, uh, you know, an O2 isn't, isn't being um, moved into the blood. So because of that, the patient has elevated CO2 levels, um, and what happens is they become accommodated to that elevated CO2. Okay, they have this mismatch of the oxygen or the oxygenation perfusion mismatch, the mismatch in the VQ, right? Um, and so we're going to get into that a bunch later. But then what happens with bronchitis here is, is you can see this inflammation occurs. And then what happens is we also have uh, all this excessive mucus production. So already they're not able to exchange gas as they should, but they also have this excessive mucus production, which makes it even harder for them to breathe. Hey guys, it's John with NRSMG.com. Thanks for stopping by and checking out our YouTube channel. Be sure to subscribe so you find out about all of our new videos as they come out. Listen, nursing school doesn't have to be so hard. That's why I created NRSMG.com. When I was in nursing school, I became so frustrated with administration that just didn't seem to care professors that didn't know the content or just read from PowerPoints, and so many other problems. So NRSNG was created to give you the tools, the support, and the guidance, and the community that you need as a nursing student to accomplish your goal of becoming a nurse. Nursing is awesome. In my time as a nurse, I've worked as a charge nurse, a preceptor, I'm an RN, a CCRN, and I've done so much with my career, and I want to give back to you guys. So be sure to subscribe, check out the free book down below, 140 Must Know Meds, and be sure to check out the other videos that other students have found very helpful. You guys, thank you so much for stopping by. You can do this. Nursing is an awesome career, and I hope to see you around.